if you've been around on YouTube long enough, you've probably seen things like monk mode before. You've heard of the growth mindset. You've heard of all these different frameworks that are supposed to help you get more enlightened. It's supposed to help you be more successful. I have one that you probably never heard of. It's called the Force Gump Mindset. And you're probably wondering, Raylan, how in the world can you know that you've never heard of Force Gump Mindset? Because I literally just made it up less than an hour ago. But this framework has helped me get past overthinking, get past the self-doubt. And it allowed me to get out of my own way to find success. Let me take you back a little bit. You see, I figured out a long time ago that the key to success is exposure. You see somebody doing something that you never thought possible and because they achieved it, you wanna do the same. It makes you feel like maybe there's a way that I could do this. It gets you out of the overthinking and focused on looking at the other person, emulating them so you can have similar success. But if you're like me, you didn't grow up with all that much exposure. You see, my father at the time was in prison. My mother was struggling financially, and although she was running a job, it still was a struggle for her raising two boys and trying to keep up with everything. Meanwhile, all my friends had fathers and mothers who seemed to have it all figured out, at least anyway, according to me and what I saw. Around this time, I was obsessed with a movie called Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump, by the way, come here for a second, Forrest Gump is the best movie ever created. First of all, the character is so lovable. You watch the movie, you laugh, you cry. It has that literally everything. And I don't even want to have you come at me with this, Oppenheimer's the best movie ever, The Dark Knight. I don't want to hear any of it. Forrest Gump is the best movie, period. If you can watch that scene where he meets his son for the first time, he asks Jenny, Is, is he smart? He's very smart and you don't feel like crying a little bit, something wrong with you. You need to go and figure out what's wrong with your emotions. But I digress. Anyway, so I'm, I'm, so I'm trying to figure out why I'm so obsessed with this movie. Like, I constantly watch it. If it's on TV, back when we used to watch TV from Channel 20 and whatever else, I would watch it every single time it came on. And I couldn't seem to figure out why I was so obsessed with it. It was because the character, the main character, Forrest Gump, was someone that I could emulate, was someone that inspired me. And the, and the reason is gonna blow you away a little bit, and it's that he was just too dumb to know he couldn't do something. I mean, actually think about that movie for a minute. How many times do you ever see him go, you know, I don't think I could do this? Literally, never. Jenny, for the first time, he's being bullied by kids, and he has braces on his legs. Jenny goes, run, Forrest, run. Guess what my man does? He runs. Doesn't think about it, he just goes. He doesn't give the excuse of, well, I have, braces on my legs so I can't run. None of that, he just does what he needs to do. His best friend from the military says, you know what we should do? We should start a shrimp company together. He has no idea anything about shrimp. In fact, everything he knows is from this one person who eventually passes away. Rest in peace, Bubba. But what does he do? He starts a shrimp boat company. Highly successful, why? Because he doesn't think about it. Everything this man does and touches is a success. And it's partly because of two very important reasons. He doesn't overthink. And of course, he's a fictional character. I am fully aware, before anybody lights me up in the comments, that this person is not real. But I feel like the mindset behind it could be absolutely real, and I know it is because I myself have focused on this. I mentioned earlier that growing up, I didn't really have a whole lot of role models growing up. I didn't have the exposure to know that I could do something. And in fact, I never thought I really would amount to anything. But what I did do very well was I assumed that there was not any reason why I couldn't do something. I stopped trying to get, find all the excuses why I couldn't be successful and just focused on me doing the thing. The result, found some success. What I realized is I spend more time worrying about what I don't have than focusing on what I do. I spend more time focusing on all the reasons why I wouldn't be successful than I do actually just doing the damn thing. When I first got into corporate America, when I was 20 something years old, I dropped out of school. I thought immediately, there's no way that not only am I gonna get the job, but I can. there's no way that I'll be able to grow in the company, get promotions. Within three years, all of that happened, regardless of the fact that I didn't have a college degree. The reason why was because I just did the thing. I just assumed I was too dumb to know I couldn't do something and just, did whatever I needed to do to be successful. I just focused on the thing at hand. When I decided to be a digital entrepreneur, I constantly kept hearing from other people, what do I know about digital entrepreneurship? What do I know about marketing? What do I know about sales? What do I know about this, about that? And instead, in focusing on what they were saying, I had one mentor, luckily, that told me, hey, look, there are people out there that know less than you. There are people out there that don't have the same experience as you, and yet they're doing exactly what you want to be doing and having everything that you want. So what did I do? I just assumed that I was too dumb to know I couldn't do something, and I did the thing. Overthinking 
self-doubt, all this stuff affects all of us. But if we can be more like Forrest Gump, I know it sounds crazy when you hear it, but if we could be more like Forrest Gump, not think about why we're not good enough, not think about, hey, what if this happens, and simply just focus in the present moment, do the best thing we can in that moment, we may just actually have success. This mindset, single-handedly, in my opinion, has turned me into the person that I am today. The person that, regardless of what other people may say, regardless of my background, my past, I ignore all of it, and I just focus on what I want and following through on the action. That alone, I think, has changed my life. But I want to hear from you. What framework, what mindset have you taken on that's allowed you to be successful the way that you have? Can you see yourself embracing more of this Forrest Gump mindset? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching. If you've made it this far in the video and you think to yourself, man, I've been watching this content for a little bit now. I want to embrace the Forrest Gump mindset, make my own content. I have a guy that's going to help you be able to do that. I have this Notion template I created called the Creator Hub. It allows you to take an idea that you have in the shower or while you're driving and turn it from idea all the way to being able to publish. And not only that, gives you a framework that you could follow to allow you to actually execute and get the thing done. It stops the overwhelm and overthinking and actually makes you go into action. It's actually how I turned this video into a YouTube video. So if you want it, I'll put it down in the description below. And once again, thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.